what is the molarity of water? Well, if you know that molarity by definition is, oh, sorry, if you know that molarity by definition is the number of moles of a substance divided by the number of liters of that substance, then you can pick any volume you want, really. And as long as you know how much it weighs in grams, you can convert that to moles of molar mass. If you start with, say, one liter of water, then you probably know that that's 1,000 milliliters. And because of the way water is at, you know, room temperature-ish, that ends up being equivalent to 1,000 grams of water. Pure water weighing one gram per milliliter, unless you, dear student, was given a density of some kind. The real question is how many moles is that 1,000 grams of water? Well, the number of moles can be mass divided by molar mass, 1,000 grams divided by the molar mass of water. You can calculate the molar mass by adding two H's to an O. You're using the masses from the periodic table. It ends up being 18.02 grams per mole. When you do this calculation, 1,000 divided by 18.02, I get that that 1,000 grams of water is the same as 55.494 moles of water. Now, molarity, by definition, is the number of moles, 55.494, divided by the number of liters you have, which for us was one liter. Now, I'm just going to try to be careful with sig figs, but I really just picked an arbitrary number here. This 18.02 is where I made the rounding errors, if any. So I'm going to use four sig figs. That's 55.49 moles per liter, or because you were asked for molarity, you can call it 55.49 molar. Now that seems like a really high concentration, but what's the concentration of water in itself really high? Because it's just pure water. You're not diluting it with anything. Cool. The molarity of water, if your density is one gram per milliliter, is 55.49 moles per liter. Dunzo. Best of luck.